Hello everyone, my name is Marcos Reynoso and I'll be talking about Node.js and TCP IP. So the quick overview is introduction to TCP IP, what is a TCP socket, TCP server and client applications, the demo and small intro to streams. So, but first let's cover some concepts and terminologies first. Um, the OSI model is just a basic, it's just basically a logical model which defines how network systems are supposed to communicate with each other. And it basically breaks down each component and slots it into a layer depend depending on what it does. And as you can see in the application level, in the application layer, we have the HTTP and FTP, which we use with the browser and applications like, like files, uh, for example. But in this case, we're gonna, we're gonna take a step down to the transfer layer and the network layer where we can find the TCP protocol and IP protocol. So TCP, it stands for Transmission Control Protocol, and it basically defines how network systems are supposed to establish and maintain a connection. So applications can send data and communicate with, with other applications. And a virtual port, it's just a mechanism which avoids conflict over resources on the network and they go, to, they go through 0 to 65,535. And the first 1,000-ish, for example, are dedicated to certain protocols. Like, for example, HTTP is, is port 80, and FTP is port 20 and 21, and so and so. I, uh, Internet protocol. Um, this, this protocol is responsible for actually routing the packets through the network and getting it to, a des to, to its destination. They have two versions, IPv4, which probably you've seen it uh, like used before, and IPv6, which most likely your routers at home are, are already support this and are using it to communicate with your ISP. And as a side note, if, if, you're, inter if you're interested in networking, um, they're, they're like, you could get a, a semi-old router and actually flash a new operating system which support this and you could tweak it like like expanding the the like the the, the width like like the width of your wi of your Wi-Fi like the the area that it covers but be careful when you're actually flashing flashing the router because if you if you if you don't do it correctly it's really hard to actually bring that router back to life and TCP socket, uh, the socket is, is basically just an endpoint on a two-way communication, and it's, it's bound to a port. Uh, as you can see in the diagrams, um, in the first diagram, for example, the client makes a request, and the server creates a socket and binds it to a, to a port, so it can listen from that address, so, so that way it, w it will not have like, conflicts when, if, if it's if you have like multiple connection interacting with each other. And as you can see, the same thing happens when the server actually responds to the client. The client creates a socket and binds it to a port, and now it knows what, uh, when it's communicating with that server, it's gonna do it through that port. And how everything works. So basically, TCP breaks down the, the, the original data into packets and transfer it through the network you, uh, according to the IP, and then in the destination, the the I, the uh, the TCP protocol combines every packet to its original data. Yeah. And TCP server and client level lower level applications. Um, you could use it as an internal transferring tool. Let's say, for example, you have a, like a small network, and you want and you want to you want to transfer information and have control over everything. In, in that connection, and yeah, and another one is hardware network connections. Like say, for example, you want you want to control communicate with an assembly line, and you want you want to have full control over that and get a response, a li like like live feedback. And like what most most companies use this for is adding a security level on their applications to so have full control on 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 the actual connection. A small demo that I made using Node.js. 
Um, Node.js actually has a built-in tool for this. It's it's called it's uh, it's the net module. And let me turn on the server. In this case, I'm using a, a tool called Packet Sender, which you can control if, if you want to just send send information and just and cut the connection. And actually, and if you want to maintain that connection persistent. As you can see here, um, the, my, the server is open in, in port 9000. And I'm going to send this, this text, which is converted to hexadecimals. So, yeah, send. Yeah, there you go. So the server actually received this data in port 50, 57, 10, 1. And it, and it also, I'm also displaying the actual text. And as I said before, in this instance, the connection was closed immediately because that's how Packet Sender send, send it through. But you can actually, like, actually give, give the option. It gives you the option to maintain this connection persistent. So if I send again, like for example, hello. As you can see, it gives you the options to keep on sending information with, with a new port number. In this case, it, ga it, gave, it gave us the number 57214, and it, it, it did it for all three messages. And I also implemented a TCP client, which I had to make a little menu so you can like open the connection in this case. And as you can see, it gave the TCP client, the node TCP client, a port number of 57214. And it's always persistent unless you like you, you, you want to end the connection depending on the message. Or I could just keep on sending information with the same port number. And yeah, I could end that connection too. Yeah, so let's go over the code real quick. So on TCP server, I'm just here, I'm declaring, I'm requiring the net, the net module. It creates a server instance of the, of the, of the actual net module, and it, it gives you like event listeners, and depending on that, like for example, you see server on connection, you could trigger whatever code you want, and if, if it's sending data, it get, there's another event listener for that, and when it's closed, and also, if you get an error. And for the TCP client, um, you have to actually tell the client to where it's going to send it to. It's going to send it to and the actual port. And it's basically the same thing. It gives you, uh, it gives you like, it creates the connection and it gives you listeners on which you can define when the data comes through. Yep, and yeah, on close connection and the actual menu I had to, I had to create to trigger all this. So going back to the presentation, so you must be wondering how Node.js does all this. And your answer is streams. Streams is a pretty big concept, so I'm just going to give you a little intro. No, uh, streams is the basic I.O. of a node process, and it's a data flow concept. It, uh, it uses buffer, like let's say you have a lot of data going through, you have to break this into little packets and and node implements streams using this. It also has event emitters if you want to create a tool over this, and it has three types. Um, it's readable, writable, and duplex, which TCP sockets actually implements duplex. And just um, in addition to this, in 2011, a browsers implemented web sockets, which is a synthetic TCP socket. And that's why um, some tools like Socket.io were created, and like Socket.io. But Socket.io actually is a combination of Ajax loan polling and WebSockets cause, because um, not all web browsers support WebSockets. That's it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.